Howdy folks and welcome to another episode of the Gator and Haley Show. I'm Gator, there's Haley. As you can see she's kind of laying down here. Um, we are in Albert Lee, Minnesota and well, this past Friday my truck broke down so it's in the shop. Just waiting on it getting fixed and that's something that's going to happen from time to time as a driver. I mean if you can go a whole career without having a breakdown that more power to you you're doing really great but for the most of us in the real world we have breakdowns and sometimes it puts us takes us off the road for a while I mean what really sucks for me is I just come off a couple of days of home time and now I get a little bit longer break than anticipated but the truck needed some work done on it it had few little issues and you know and fortunately for me being a company driver my company is paying for the repair not only paying for the repair but for a hotel room I'm in right now while waiting for the repair to get done hopefully if not tomorrow the day after we, we shall see but you know Haley's sitting here enjoying TV sitting in a bed other than the sleeper she's doing really great ain't that right Haley hmm you want to say hello to your fans? No? Anyhow, you uh, got to make sure that when you do get break down, you make sure you get what you can out of the truck as far as like clothes and stuff because you don't know how long you might be. You might be a day or two. Then again, you might be there for a week or two, depending on how, how your company operates you know, as far as breakdown goes and being out of the truck and all that as well as the type of repair needed to be done. If it, you know, it might be something that's not terribly major, but it's enough to pull you off the road for a couple of days while they get the parts and fix it. Or it could be something that's going to take a good while. In the meantime, make sure you, you get your clothes out of there you, and have plenty of money. If you're a company driver, you should be getting breakdown pay. The company should be paying you for the time you're sitting because you're waiting on the truck your truck, which is actually their truck, getting repaired. So the main thing is, is keep yourself occupied because it can get kind of boring. I mean, you don't have you don't have any uh, transportation to get from point A to point B. Luckily, the hotel where I'm at is right next to a, a truck stop, a huge one, uh, probably the largest in Minnesota, called the Trails Travel Center, which is a Petro TA licensed place. It's privately owned, but they license to Petro TA under the Petro brand. And they all got all kinds of nice little goodies, and maybe I'll make a video show what's there one day. But they also have a hotel nearby, which is good. It's not affiliated with Petro TA, but it's it's next door to it. So it, and. They've got a wide selection of food choices there at the, at the trails. And that's the one thing you got to make sure you got plenty of is money for food. Because, and, because you're going to need to eat. And one thing when you break down, make sure you know what's around where you're staying at. As far as like places, places to go. So if you got something to do, like if there's a mall with a movie theater, you want to go see a movie, you can go see a movie. Restaurants, you know, places that deliver like pizza or Chinese food or sandwiches or whatever or if there's place within walking distance for you to go grab something to eat and there's next door to the to the trails is a place called or there's a Love's that has a Denny's or Wendy's my mistake but they do have a Wendy's there so I've got a little bit of choices plus they've got a few places here in Albert Lee that do deliver such as your Standard fair pizza places. But the main thing is, is you gotta fight off boredom because you're gonna be sitting in a hotel a good, good bit of time, unless you've got friends where you are, where they can take you around, whatever. You know, they, they'll do it. I mean, who knows, maybe you might save your company money if you got friends in that area that they'll let you crash at their place. You know, I'm sure the company would love that because it's money they don't have to spend. But the main thing is, is find ways to keep yourself occupied during the day. Uh, so make sure you get your clothes, get as much as you can out clothes-wise. Because like I said, you don't know if you're going to be there for a day or two or a week or two. 
And this is going for the rookies. I mean, some of these people, some of you people who are subscribed to this, who've got years of experience probably looking at it like, no duh, no shit. Well, it's, you know, it's, this is more for the people who are inexperienced or, or who are not truckers. So, you know, give it a, you know, kind of give them what's going on. But you should always make sure that when it, whenever you're traveling, whether it is a, you're a professional driver or just traveling for vacation or something, make sure that you prepare for the contingencies. I mean, life out in the road, you don't know what's going to happen because you're gone for quite a bit of time, so you got quite a bit of stuff that you build up, the stuff that you brought on the truck with you, and then plus, if you're out long enough, you're probably starting to say, you know what, I'm getting tired of wearing the same things every day after day and taking me a week or two before I can wash my clothes, so you go buy more clothes. You know, stuff gets gets quite heavy stacked here. I mean, I did my laundry yesterday, and I find out my little bag that I got, my, my carry-on bag there, and I take pack my clothes in it's overstuffed now but the main thing is is find ways to keep yourself occupied keep everything bring everything you can out of the truck that you can I mean if you get pillows or blankets whatever you can leave those in if you choose or if you're you know you want to bring your own personal pillows you can but make sure you definitely bring your clothes if you got a laptop I mean you definitely got to bring your phone with you because you got to find out when the trucks ready or not but if you got a laptop or a tablet, bring those in because, I mean, it can come in handy. You know, you might want to watch a movie. You know, you don't like what's on the TV. But above all else, just make the best of a bad situation. Haley has. I mean, hey, she we, we've been going out all quite a bit. She's enjoying the fact that she's had McDonald's. She's had her steak. She's had her hot dogs. She's had her bacon and all that fun stuff. And she's eating well with, with her regular dog food, but remember, make the best of a bad situation. It'll make it go a lot smoother. Yeah, it gets boring, it gets aggravating and annoying, but making the best of a bad situation can also make it go smoother and easier and a lot less stress on you. So what do you say, Haley? Even though our truck's in the shop, let's roll.